Hello, good day everyone. So, ito na naman si Teacher Bam. At ngayong week na ito, ang tatalakayin ko ay subject na trends, networks, and critical thinking uh, in the 21st century. Uh, ulitin ko, ito ay pang Humes or Humanities and Social uh, Science students only. Ibig sabihin, ang mga Humes students lamang ang tanging astran na kumukuha nitong subject nitong subject na to this is a specialized subject or applied subject uh, specialized subject ng yums okay so let's start the, we are now on module number 5 so dito we are going to talk about global networks fostering business and industry so you will see a picture uh, to start the lesson we are going to have picture analysis so ano ang nakikita ninyo at naobserbahan sa larawan sa bandang kanan so if you want to participate I am encouraging everyone to uh, give your answer sa comment section ng video na to So, how do the parts contribute to the whole? Again, if you have answer, please uh, write down your answers sa comment section nitong video. So, the contributions of the various parts to a whole. The headquarters, for example, of Samsung Electronics, Toyota Motors, and Apple Incorporated, including its subsidiaries, affiliates, partners, and regional offices, are all parts of a whole. These multinational corporations have facilities and other assets in other countries that are part of the entire operation, and continuous existence of each multinational corporation. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, itong mga brand na to ay hindi ito gawang Pilipinas. Ibig sabihin nito, mayroon silang mother's uh, company, tapos they have branches uh, sa lahat ng mga continents or even countries in the whole world, like Samsung, Toyota, Apple uh, Apple uh, company. So, isa sa mga nabibiya, nabibiyayaan or nabiyayaan ng company na to ay ang ating bansang Pilipinas. So, all divisions and functionaries of the subsidiary company are all parts which comprise the main company as a whole. Another aspect showing the relations of the various components to the whole is the chain process. The different stages to be undertaken in relation to the creation of the entire value chain process must be coherent, supportive, and consistent in one another. Hence, each one is the most important for the whole process to be carried out successfully. So, this is an example of the organizational structure of Toyota Motor Corporation uh, as of 2015. Okay? Remember, from chairman or the president of the company down to the Toyota New Global Architecture Planning Division to Product and Business Division Planning Division. So, down them is the Lexus International. So, you will see Toyota number one. Siguro, ito yung mga bansa na kung saan nandun yung mga branches nila. Two, okay, you will see China and other parts of Africa and Latin America. And there's the unit center. So, all of these organizations are contributing to the whole, uh, to, 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 to Toyota Motor. Okay? So, creative imagination. You will see creative and imagination. 
what is creative or creativity, and what is imagination. To start with, imagination does not work alone when it comes to wanting to bring something to life and allowing it to step out of your mind. And when we say creativity, it kicks in when an individual wants to make something out of their imagination. So if you want to materialize what you imagine, then creativity comes in. So therefore, when we say creative imagination, this involves the formation or creation of mental images. It is the ability of the mind to transcend its limits, explore the unseen, the, tra the tread the path, and tread the path it would normally take. So again, creative imagination is the ability of uh, the ability of the mind to transcend what it imagines okay another one uh as when you translate your imagination into reality you are a creator of reality you create what you imagine okay so creative imaginations plays a vital role in putting together the various parts of a whole so if we are going to connect creative imagination to the whole then uh, if you are putting it back together if you are putting it together then you are doing or you're putting back to the whole it is through the imagination that an image is created and its parts identified. Just like when you create a puzzle, you cannot form or you cannot create or you cannot form the puzzle together if you cannot imagine what the puzzle is all about. Okay? So, what I mean to say, hindi mo mabubuo yung isang puzzle kung hindi mo napipicture or na-imagine yung, yung puzzle na yan. Kung ano ba yan. If it is a child, a house, a garden, or whatever. Okay? The components of gadgets, such as smartphones and laptops, the division of a business enterprise like fast food chain, and the segment or an industrial product such as tractor all constitute parts that make up a whole. Okay? The design of the gadget, the organizational structure of a business enterprise, and the capacity and strength of the industrial product all emanated from the creative imagination of a person or group of individuals. Almost everything that you see, consume, or enjoy is a product of creative imagination guided by intuition. Yes. Uh, lahat ng mga bagay na ginagamit mo, nakikita mo, na, 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 na feel mo, those are product of imagination. I do not know if you will agree, uh, but uh, I know it is. The bag that you use, the laptop that you are using now, the cell phone that you are using now, nabuo yon because of imagination. Okay. Uh, class, I want you to take note of the following. The use of creative imagination is not only limited to the creation of goods and services. I hope you will agree with that. And also help you solve problems and help you come up with new ideas and explore possibilities. Meaning to say, you can solve your problem if you will use your imagination on how to solve the problem. Okay? So, once again, I would like you to participate in answering the activity. 
feel free to comment down below sa lahat ng mga sagot ninyo sa activity na to. Question number one, is the efficiency of a company affected, uh, affected when the various parts of a whole operation are located in distant places? For example, uh, I have a business and I have businesses in Europe, in America, in South Africa, or whatso whatsoever, or wherever. Apektado ba yung efficiency ng aking negosyo if I have that kind of business? Number two, what have you observed in the puzzle? Is creative imagination necessary in putting together the various parts of a whole? Why or why not? And the puzzle is this. So once again, maraming salamat sa panunod ng aking video na to. So, para sa participation ng mga nanonood, lalo-lalo na dito sa activity natin, please do not forget to comment down below of your uh, your answers, okay? So, once again, maraming salamat sa mga nanonood dito ng aking video na to. So, kung hindi pa kayo subscriber or hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa channel ko, please do not forget to hit the notification bell para mas lalo kayong updated sa aking mga upcoming videos or video lesson. So once again, this is Teacher Bam. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye!